Hello, and once again, welcome to my workshop. So today we're going to complete this um, mailbox come nesting box. Um, we're going to cut out or manufacture the Perspex door that uh, fits on the back here. Now, the idea of having it Perspex is that uh, so the girls can drive up the driveway. I mean, our driveway is half a kilometre long and it's uphill. And um, as they drive up to the, the mailbox, they can actually see if there's um, any mail in it without getting out the vehicle and getting soaking wet. Um, also, secondary is we do have a problem. If you have a look on the previous video to this, you'll see that uh, we have um, for 18 years now have had birds nesting in our mailbox and uh, which isn't very pleasant on times. Um, so the idea is, well we give them somewhere else to nest, um, but if we have perspex on here and there's full sun and daylight, um, they're going to be reluctant to build a nest in it, hopefully. So um, that's the thinking. So. Let's get on with it. Oh, incidentally, we'll be uh, using the laser to cut out this. So um, I suppose this is a pretty well a laser video. And um, we'll be using a laser cut 6.1. And uh, so I'll show you how to operate that and operate the laser and how to determine a cut. So this is uh, laser cut. Um, here we have oh, here we have drawing and manipulating tools. Uh, we have manipulating tools up here as well. And uh, as I use the program, you will uh, see what they do, uh, rather than me trying to explain to the, you now what they do. This is the main drawing uh, canvas. Uh, this grid. is set up in millimeters, so from here to here is 900 millimeters, and from here to here is 600 it millimeters. Is set up to the size of my operating table in inside this the laser. This screen, part of the screen here. Uh, this, uh, I can operate the laser directly from the computer, uh, X, Y, datum, uh, Z, uh, up, down, and datum, um, test, frame, and uh, what have you here. Uh, I can start, pulse, and stop pro the uh, laser, and so on, and uh, this is to upload or download to the laser a program from here. So. Um, what I'm going to simply do is draw a very simple um, CAD drawing. Some of this will be speeded up um, and others will be at normal speed. So uh, I don't want to bore you too much. So here we go. So we're going to start off with the overall size of the little door. See, no, I did, made a mistake. Uh, if you don't uh, take off lock scale, if you don't untick that, it will actually alter the, uh, or want to alter the other setting that you've preceded, which preceded this one. So we'll do that again. Um, actually, 283, we'll do that one. 283. And we'll press OK, and it will jump to the correct size. Um, it really doesn't matter where it is on here. Um, the datum is set up at this this co uh, top uh, right-hand corner here, or the back right-hand corner. Um, providing I set the laser, or tell the laser where the start of this program is um, for this particular job, I can put this anywhere on the table. It really doesn't uh, ma matter or make any difference to the complete.
So now what I want to do is highlight that box. Now if you want to delete something, you come over here to edit um, and you can, look, the hotkey is X uh, or you can go in here and say cut and delete whatever you have selected. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put these on layers, two different layers. Yeah, because we want the laser to do, to do certain jobs. Uh, I've got a bit of a storm happening out there. I hope you can hear me right now. The outside, and we're going to make that a blue layer. So you notice uh, in the top corner up here now, um, a secondary layer uh, has appeared. So we're going to want to cut like this group, which is um, all the holes, which is on the black layer. And we're going to say mm, speed of 8, that's fine. Ooh, that's way too much. And we want to go uh, to cut this out. Now this is um, 5, 6 millimeter, quarter inch, quarter inch um, perspex. Um, actually, I think it's, um, yes, quarter inch perspex, which is 6 millimeter. I think uh, 40, 45 would be quite sufficient for that. 45, 8 millimeters a second, that's five, fine. And we'll go 45 again on this one. Uh, this is the corners, uh, you know, if he was cutting a square or something like that. But I fill it in anyway. 45. Actually, we're going to make this one. 50 because what this one actually does is this is the the strike of the laser in other words it's, it's hard for the laser to punch the initial hole through first so we can raise that up just slightly uh, it can be 5% more uh, let's see 45 um, than the normal travel. Uh, when you're cutting, you need to keep the power level one and power level two at uh, the same amount because you, you you want a pure cut. Uh, but to start off with, I uh, put it about between five and ten percent further up. If this was wood, uh, obviously this would be farther up, and obviously this would too. There'd be you'd need more power. But this is acrylic plastic. That's the word I was looking for. Um, we only have one uh, laser, we don't have dual laser. Uh, blowing, always. And calculate. Incidentally, down here, uh, if I was to fill this in, I could tell the laser exactly where uh, our piece of work was on the table. And from the datum or home uh, machine home position, um, I could let the laser go from its uh, machine home straight to the piece of work and cut it. But in this case, I'm going to show it where it is. Okay. Now the second layer, double click that, um, and this is at eight millimeters a second. Well, actually, that's probably go a little faster than that, but. Um, uh, we'll go 12 millimeters a second. So it's just two layers. And as the as this appears on here, this is going to be one program. So the laser itself will carry out the black layer first and then the blue layer. Okay, so as it appears on here, that is how the laser sees it and that is how the laser is going to operate all okay. okay so now we've got our program up I'm going to turn the laser on um, you should still be able to hear me okay uh, the laser will check its datum or its uh, home position and then I'll be right to upload now this program okay. So we've uh, registered now that the computer and the laser are talking to each other because it's gone green on the bottom here. And now we 
upload the program to the computer. Um, post box, I'm going to give it a total of one and press OK. And that's gone up into here. OK, now then, this, is, this laser is built with a, or comes with a, automatic uh, Z. So what we're going to do is we're going to manoeuvre the head now over this metal plate. Uh, it's like, got like a rubber, rubberized paint on it so it doesn't scratch anything. This on here is just dust. Uh, okay, so come over the material and press Z datum. It will automatically come up, sense that plate, and then take it down to the correct depth. And we're going to now take the head just over to this corner. Now I'm going to do, uh, press test and allow the laser to run around the material so I can visually check to see whether the laser uh, is actually going to be in the material there and not uh, cut over the edge and be out of square. So just press test. And I can visually see now that the whole of the job is within that material. So now I'm going to press um, start the program and it's going to um, drill the holes or cut the holes out and uh, then it will cut the material out. I hope. Hopefully you can. The little loose part right in the middle there. If I can oh see drop out. And again here. Here. So you can see them actually drop out. Perfect. Perfect cut. Okay, in my case, it is one, four, oh, nine. Um, height's the 100. That's four inches high. Okay, that's okay. And there they are. Now, cutting numbers out with a laser can be quite complex. Um, now, what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to, I want some holes so I can screw it. 
Oh, I could. Um, I could glue them on, actually. In fact, that's what I think I'll do. So, <clears throat> what we need to do, because the laser will just see this and cut randomly uh, whatever it thinks, but what we need it to do is cut the center of that one, uh, press down shift, the center of that one, and the center of that one, and I'm going to, now I'll show you a different way. Because these are, this is all on a black layer at the moment, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press down shift on the keypad, select that one, select the outside of that one, outside of that one, and the outside of that one, and I'm going to put those on a blue layer. Okay, now this is three millimeter, and what I'm going to do is go, okay, the black layer, because I want the black layer cut first. So what it's going to do is going to come in and cut the inside of the letters out first. We need that to happen, otherwise, if it cut the outside of the letter first, the letter's going to drop out, or the number, rather, is going to drop out, and you won't be able to cut the inside. So, you, you know, you have to be quite specific here and say, now cut the inside first. So that's what we're going to do. And then we can turn the, uh, get the material on the laser, turn the laser on and upload. Well, thank you for watching this video today uh, on this, um, well, mailbox uh, come bird nesting box um, with conventional tools, uh, woodworking tools, uh, on the preceding video to this. And of course, this one um, cutting out um, uh, perspex doors and lettering and uh, using uh, laser cut 6.1 and of course a 100 watt laser so uh, thank you for joining me and uh, don't forget I've got two channels uh, now um, I think with a total of nearly uh, I think it's 275 um, videos now so um, please subscribe press like and uh, come and visit my both channels where you'll find operation on laser and the CAD systems or CAM systems. Um, also wood turning, CNC routing, uh, at CAM um, and also uh, milling in the steel and aluminium. So thank you for joining me and it's bye for now.